Hey guys, welcome back to Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimzeski with Adam Atkinson to wrap up our final episode in our series, Flawed Peaking Concepts. And if you've been tracking along with us, we of course have gone through different extreme methods in ways that, that people sometimes think they, they have to lay out their planning. And the final one in, in our opinion is the, the junk loading. So we've talked about why you may not want to do all the depletion and loading of water and sodium and so forth. And then even our last episode talking about the carb loading methodologies. Well, on, on the tail end of our conversation, describing how some clients get behind calorically and they just need more food, you end up feeling like you're doing a, a rapid backload. I've been in those situations too, Adam, where I'm like, man, the night before the contest, the morning of, we really still are a little too flat. So we need that extra boost of sodium. So I have, I have taken clients physically to go get a burger or go to uh, an Asian buffet kind of thing just to get sodium up even higher. Uh, you know, anything that we need at that point, but I don't necessarily plan it for everybody. That, that's even my goal not to. You, you mentioned in the series so far, having clients take a slice of pizza. That was my MO 20 years ago. Like if you ever saw clients backstage with pizza, you know, that's a, a Joe client. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, you know, we've kind of refined some of those ways of getting just specific levels of extra sodium or fat or carbs, if you want, without throwing an entire food at somebody that they haven't eaten in 16 weeks. So that was my version of doing something extreme back then that I've, I've certainly backed away from now. Um, like you said, though, there's still that time where somebody may need something that extreme, but it's not at all what we plan for. Yeah, I would also say, you know, if you're on a team and there's like five people getting burger and fries, your coach <laughs> probably isn't managing the peak yeah. week well enough, or that's just what they do. So I was at Masters Nationals and um, there was a guy in the bathroom. He was like, burger and fries, burger and fries for everyone that came in. Um, and, you know, that's just, you know, subpar coaching, I'll say. And, you know, you want those dynamics to say, you know, okay, what, what did you have at, you know, meal three, how much sodium are you at? Um, there weren't many of those questions, you know, how much movement have you done? Um, have you been resting? Have you been running around like a chicken with your head cut off all check-ins? Um, sometimes you see that where people are so high, strung, stress, they actually do get a little flat because they're, just not managing stress well during the check-in process. Glad you, I'm going to, I'm going to contrast two different clients because you brought up a really good point. There are times when I'm, you know, seeing photos of a client, they're sending me pictures at, at a contest just hour by hour and you can see that progress and you, you know, okay, when we get to this meal, there's a little bit more of sodium or there's a little bit more of this and it's, you're going to fill up and then we're going to accelerate the water. So it's almost like you're, you're, you're acknowledging this is a process moving forward through the day that you don't have to freak out about because you've been there as a coach, you know, this client. Uh, and, and then there's a great reward. Like sometimes I question my, are we full enough? Are we full enough? Are we full enough? Then I get the photos from the stage and it's like, Oh my gosh, amazing. Couldn't have looked better. You know, the one by a wide margin. And so it was just sticking to the game plan and having the confidence to know what's going to happen. But I also remember having a client a couple years ago. Uh, it was actually Paul Ravella, and you know he was looking great. I know what he's he's going to look like, and, and we got everything managed. You know, I was with him every minute of the day for the last two or three days, and yet at that particular show, like you said, he was on his feet all morning helping clients. He never sat down once. He never rested. He did nothing to take care of himself. I would have to tap on his shoulder and remind him to drink water. And so we got to that point and he just did not fill up quite as much. You know, he, I, I feel like we were at the 95% or so Mark. And when you're working with somebody like Paul, you want it to be 110%. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just wanted to punch him in the face and say, just sit the fuck down and relax. Like, like this, you get, you got to physically be right. No, no matter what you're planning nutritionally and through micronutrients, macronutrients, if you're not managing the meta side of the day, your mental state, your, your physical, you know, even just, just positional activity, that kind of thing, it's going to, it's not going to go the way you think. 
Absolutely. It can be a nice distraction to have that, have clients because it takes the pressure off for the day. It can, but yeah, it, it makes it hard to put yourself first when you're in those situations. And my point to that is, I think another coach could have said, oh man, you know, you're a little flat. Let's have that burger and fries. Let's, let's do something crazy. And it had nothing to do with nutritional status. It was the fact that here's a guy who's been on his feet for eight hours. And, uh, you know, it's just, you're not going to see that return until you get some, some rest. Yeah. Probably need some water too. And just, just, you know, get on his back a little bit, but Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this series. This this was, I think, a great way to put together some of the the, the common flaws and, and the the misconceptions we all have about peaking. Uh, we certainly have tons and tons of other series, so you can go you know, search us out on whatever platform you're at. Also on the dietdoc.com that website, there's an entire page with with the entire table of contents that that we've put together over the last few years with this. So. Hope you guys are enjoying and Adam, once again, thank you. We'll see you guys next time for another new series in Contest Prep University.